Schweiße. The first two miles is rough. One more to go. Well, I was hoping to get a beautiful sunrise this morning, but <laughs> it's so cloudy, and I'm here about 20 minutes early for sunrise. Hopefully, I'll be able to record something on this walk. Well, I'm three miles in. Still no sign of the sun coming up. Hopefully, we can get enough lighting from the, the light reflecting off the fog. <laughs> um, but I wanted to come talk to you guys today about something that's been challenging my thinking lately um, I mentioned it in yesterday's video and that video was actually recorded almost two weeks ago where I was really starting to bat some of this around in my brain but I've had a number of people telling me that I don't need all that much salt so for the most part I've been just rejecting that because I believed it from the beginning that it was a key element of my diet but you know I also know that I tend to do something that most people do when it comes to their beliefs is I get an early belief ensconced and then it's very difficult to to lift it out even if it's wrong so I started to really think I need to look at this you know because after I was actually watching a video that had one of the people that I plan on interviewing at some point soon coming up and he was talking to Dr. Chafee in that video I think that's how you pronounce it or Caffey or coffee or something like that but he was pointing out about how our bodies make electrolytes and I thought well I was under the impression after what Michaela had said is that you'd be electrolyte deficient on this diet so that was one of the reasons why I started with so much sodium and I still use the sodium when I cook my food and I still put it in my drinks after almost two years of doing this and it's been going quite well um, I've added potassium and magnesium recently Not gonna say I noticed a whole lot of difference, but I added it Wanted to make sure I was getting all that I need but lately I've been thinking maybe I should check and see what it's like without it You know, maybe give it a shot really give it a go um, I don't know how long I want to try to do that, but I got something good. I can compare it to I hope I don't just mess up my my push-ups, but I thought if I can do it for the last week that I'm doing this push-up challenge then I can really see how it compares to last week um, just comparing Saturday with today today's Monday I know you're seeing this on Tuesday if you're watching it for the first time when it debuted but Saturday I did decline presses so I was doing a little bit harder press but today I did regular presses push-ups and I was able to do 11% more push-ups today than I did last week, last Saturday, or two days ago. I thought, well, that's interesting. The declines are a little harder. I'd say they're at least 10% harder. So if they're 10% harder and I did 11% better, then it's about a wash. But that means after yesterday of doing no electrolytes in my drink all day and no electrolytes this morning, I'm still doing pretty good. I've already done three miles on my walk carrying a 40 pound vest got a little extra weight for protection so I've actually got about 46 pounds on here and though it's still heavy <laughs> I'm still rucking it it's uh it's not really much harder than it was Saturday if it's harder at all it might just be in my head but it's something that I feel that's important that I really look closely into uh, as much as I love my Redmond salt I'm still going to continue to use Redmond salt on all my food and I'll probably get back to putting it in my drink but I do want to see how I can do without it if my body is able to produce the electrolytes necessary to handle my workload every day so far so good less than 24 hours though let's see how it plays out 
Meanwhile, I do want to say I did get my exercise in this morning um, and I did that without the extra electrolytes today. As you can see here, I got all the push-ups done and I also did some curls and some pull-ups today. So I even actually did more exercise today than I did on Saturday. And uh, I got to tell you, just like every morning, there's that little thing inside of me that wants to tell me first thing in the morning, good Lord, are we going to do this every day? Are you going to really keep this up all the time? How are you going to maintain this all the time? And I have to tell that whiny little voice, leave me alone. I ain't got time for you today. I got to get my body in shape. I got to get started with the day. And I got to be ready to take on the work day I got coming up. So put that crap to bed, man. I'm just telling you, you're not the only one if you feel that way in the morning. If you don't feel like you want to do this, if you don't feel like you want to get up and do it again or do it at all, you just got to tell yourself, I ain't listening to that voice. I'm going to say, screw it. I'm going to get up and do it. I'm going to take my health back and I'm going to be there. I'm going to be ready for the challenges that come my way today. The challenges that are going to make things better for me and my family, my friends and my community. I'm going to be ready to take on because I said I'm going to get up and do it. And you can too. There's nothing stopping you except for the decision to do it. Have you started to change your diet yet? Have you started to do a little exercise? It'll make all the difference in the world. And the increase is not linear. The increase is exponential. Once you start making those little changes, you can do it. I'm here with you. See you next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat? Be sure to check out my merch shop before you leave today. I've been putting together these designs for the carnivore community to be able to screw it, get up and do it. Check out some of the other designs I've got going on right now. Did someone say steak? I've got legalized freedom gear and I've got new designs on the way.